Oh, guys, oh my God, I just caught a freaking giant. Oh my God. What is up, guys? What's going on? Welcome back, Yak Squad. Welcome back to another exciting episode. We've, we've got Ben here, okay? Ben was on time for this video. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, check it out. We are here today in Dick's Sporting Goods, and we are looking for a swim bait that one of you suggested in, uh, I think, episode number three, maybe four. I think it was three, though. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was episode number three. And we're gonna look for that. But until then, you guys, let me know if you guys want to see me make. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys some swim baits here in a second. Let me know if you guys want to see these on the swim bait showdown series. Now these are saltwater swim baits, okay? Now these are five inch and they are heavy, guys. They are super heavy duty because they're saltwater swim baits. But uh, would you guys be interested in seeing a saltwater specific swim bait in a freshwater swim bait showdown series? Let me know. And, uh, and I can make that happen. If you guys, if you guys want to see that, give this video a fat thumbs up, and then drop me a comment saying, uh, uh, I don't know, just whatever you want to say, I guess. But if you guys want to see that? Let me know, and I'll make it happen. All right, guys, we have found, we have found the swim bait. This is the one that, uh, like I said, episode three, somebody made a comment. Somebody said they really want to see me fish this one because I have not fished a soft plastic swim bait yet, and they want to see this. The Storm Kicking Shad for. Right at seven dollars. But before we get this, guys, check it out. I literally just like opened my eyes and saw something right here in front of me. Look at this. When you buy one storm lure, you get another one 50% off. So what we're gonna do, guys, is since the uh, storm regular piece lures pri piece, I said piece price, regular price lures, buy one get one 50% off. We're gonna get one in the uh, kicking shad. Actually, no, that's not the color. What are these colors? Olive Shiner and Olive Shiner. Dude, that's stupid. They're literally olive two different shiner. colors. They're two different colors. All right, guys, we can't figure out the colors, but I'll show you the difference. So here on the left side, we've got the, uh, we'll call it the Gold Shiner, and then we'll call this one on the right the Silver Shiner. So we're gonna get these, and we're gonna go compare the two. Which one gets bit the most? Okay, that'll be $10.10. Almost hit the door, guys. <laughs> All right, well, now that we've got our swim baits, let's get to fishing. All right, guys, we're here at the first spot. I decided to use the uh, the silver, I think is what we wanted to call it, the silver shiner first. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna just take a, a little test whirl real quick to see how this thing swims. Oh my goodness, at the action on this thing. Okay, it's got some good action on it so far. I don't. Something's wrong with my. Gotta let. Oh God! I, I just got tore up. Second cast. Something just destroyed it. What the heck? Oh, guys! Oh my God! I just caught a freaking giant. Oh my God! Guys, this is a. Oh, you are not gonna believe this, guys. Oh my God! Holy what? Oh my god at this fish! That was the third cast! What the heck? Oh my god! What? Look at this freaking tank! Out here getting it in for the swim bait showdown, baby! Guys, this, this fish is an absolute tank. This is like, I, I don't even know, but I mean, it's a freaking behemoth. Literally the third cast. We're test casting. Let's get you back, buddy. Ow, he's ready to go. Holy mother of fish. There he goes. God, what in the world? Guys, I literally was test casting that to show you guys how the action worked, okay? I have literally fished this before, okay? This is a very, very small canal, okay? This is eight inches deep at the max. Okay, so when you walk that way, there's two really big lakes over there, and I was gonna walk around those lakes and, and try to film this video for you guys, but look, I'm test casting this, and I'm like, okay, so I got bumped, and I thought I hit that little drain pipe right there, and then I pitched it again, and then, oh my God, I cannot believe what just happened. Third cast on this freaking storm swim bait. Absolutely cannot believe that, and he absolutely, just engulfed it that is 
actually insane. That is actually nuts. Okay, well, we're gonna keep on moving around and and uh, try to find another one. <laughs> oh my God, that was crazy. The GoPro lens does these fish no justice on how big they are, okay? When you, when you are looking at something dead center of a GoPro screen, like you guys are watching right now, it makes it look smaller because it's stretched, because it's got a fish eye lens on it. I assure you that I, that was a big fish. I don't know the weight because I'm a, I'm a scrub and I don't have a scale, but uh, wow, I just wow. I don't even know what else to say. I mean, that was crazy. But the action on this is, is pretty good from what I saw. I literally only got to see it do like three weaves and then he just absolutely inhaled it. So, oh my goodness. I actually cannot believe that really happened. Third cast. Oh, let's go try to catch some more though. All right, guys, we have an issue. I caught that fish. I set the hook on that fish and did nothing different than I usually do. And uh, now my, my rod is cracked. Yeah, I really got a crack in my rod. That's tough. Wow, okay. I'm gonna have to hit St. Croix up and try to get me a new one because uh, that's not good. You gotta give it a second to sink. It's got a tight, a really tight weave to it. A little, little action, a little swim action. It's got really tight swim action, but it swims good. It's uh, one, two, I guess it's three pieces, if you will. It's soft plastic. It's kind of like the rubber, so it stretches and it's got a nice action to it. It only comes with this one hook, this one treble hook on the, uh, on the bottom. The hook seems to be pretty stout. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a thick hook. I'm not sure what brand, but uh, it kind of reminds me of a one of the, what are these? Kind of reminds me of like a Mustad almost. I don't know if it's a Mustad or not. I honestly have no idea, but definitely, I mean, it's, it's a good hook. I just reeled that, that good one in, so. All right, so it swims good, but when you get grass on it, like this little bit of grass right here on the hook, completely messed up the action on the bait. No big deal, just kind of try to keep it away from some grass man i just did a video literally just what the heck is wrong with this i just did a video on this uh on this rod too i literally just did it this is my favorite hundred dollar spinner rod literally ever even though it's broken still absolutely my favorite hundred dollar spinner rod ever so what i'm going to do for you guys actually since i just posted that video yesterday it's crazy that i would you know make a video basically saying how good this rod is. And then the next day it snaps on a, on a hook set. So, uh, and I didn't do anything crazy. I didn't do anything crazy. I didn't do anything weird. I just set the hook, just kind of leaned into it like you would with treble hooks. But I'm going to be sure to update you guys now on the return policy. So I'm gonna talk to Tackle Warehouse first because that's where I got this rod from. So we'll see what they say. I'll let you guys know how, how smooth the, uh, the return process goes and whatnot. And uh, if it's smooth and it's good, then that'll just, instead of a 10 out of 10, that'll, that'll be 11 out of 10. So I have no clue if you guys saw that, but another good one on the, uh, the storm swim bait. Caught him out there about 10 feet to the left of that little tiny brush pile. We're gonna go ahead and get this dude back. But uh, my GoPro froze, there he goes. Ready to go back and do bass things with his bass friends. But uh, anyways, what I was saying, I don't know how much of that caught like how much my GoPro froze. What I was saying is uh, some of you guys are probably like, yo, why did you bring a spinning rod today instead of your swim bait setup? Well, this bait is seven eighths of an ounce, so it's a little bit lighter. Um, and I didn't want to uh, throw that on, you know, what I have my setup for my big swim baits. I didn't, I just didn't think it would work. Uh, you know, maybe I could be dead wrong. It could have worked just fine, but I chose to go spinning rod today and um, Never thought I would be an advocate of spinning rods, but guys, let me tell you what. I love me some spinning rods now. Uh-oh, guys. Something I just realized after that last catch. The, uh, the hook part is coming out of the bait, so that may be why it's starting to swim a little funky. You can see there's a weight right there. That's where the hook connects to. Two fish, guys. Granted, they're two good-sized fish. All right, guys, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this swim bait. I'm going to change it out for the gold shiner right here. I don't know if you can tell the difference in colors. I'll try to get you some sunlight, but 
This one's, this one's got a gold tint to the bottom half of the bait. We're gonna see if that makes a difference. We're gonna see if they wanna eat this one as well as this one. So two good sized fish ate this one. Now let's see if anything wants to eat this one. Okay, ladies and gents, like I said, this one, it's actually got some green and some, some blue flake in it as well. Same exact bait, same exact weight, same exact everything except for the color. It's got a little gold tint to it. We're gonna see if the fish want anything to do with something gold. It's a good fish sitting right there. What is that? Oh my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I guess they do like gold. <laughs> I guess they do like gold. Got a good one on the gold one. Nice. Let's get him back. Later, dude. Go have fun. Back he goes. In all honesty, guys, I wasn't anticipating to get bit at all until around 7.30, 7.40, you know, an hour before dark. You know, but hey, that just goes to show that you never really can tell you know, you can kind of get an idea, but you never really can tell of what the fish want when they're going to want it. Perfect and prime example of just go fish, guys. You can't catch them from the couch. Just go out and fish. Go out and have fun. Try to learn something every time you go out. You should be able to learn at least one thing every time you go out, whether it's a, a new knot or a certain or specific way to fish a bait. Just anything. Anything at all. You can always take away a, a positive lesson from a fishing experience or an outdoor experience. All right, well guys, that's gonna wrap this video up. The Storm Swim Bait, the little live shad, I think is what it's called. Uh, good swim bait, really good. Uh, the first one that I used did break right here at the bottom. It kind of like just came apart. So I don't think, I probably could have caught maybe you know one or maybe two more fish with that uh, before it was completely broken. Uh, so I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this beautiful South Florida day, as you guys can see. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this day with my wife and kids. Going to cook on the grill, eat us some hamburgers. And with that being said, guys, we are, uh, like I said, we're wrapping this video up. But I want to show you guys really quick what happened to my rod when I set the hook on that fish. Can't really do a good job of seeing it, but you guys can see the little, that's not the line right here. So let me move the line out of the way. Look, where's, there we go. Yeah, see? I don't know I don't know what that's all about I was still able to flip a couple of fish up so I, I guess it's not that big of a deal so I guess maybe I'll wait till it actually like breaks to send it back I don't know you guys let me know in the comments what should I do should I send it back right now or should I contact them and let them know it broke and see what happened or should I just wait till it actually breaks and, and send it back but uh anyways guys thanks again for watching episode number six of the swim bait showdown series guys this series means a lot to me uh, I put a lot and I mean a lot of time and effort into this series right here. Because like I said, this is new to me. Swim bait fishing is new to me. So uh, it's, it's, I've had a blast through uh, episode number one through six. And uh, it, it's just been a great experience, guys. But anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. Appreciate all the love and all the support. We'll catch y'all next time. <laughs>